We are in our Airbnb right now. We thought since Layla's so obsessed with music right now, why not drive up and go see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Are you ready to swim, girl? Oh, Angie likes it. Right now, though, we're going to Barnes and Noble. Look at all these. We're gonna go have like a big dinner tonight with all of his family. And then tomorrow morning, we're headed up and we're staying in a hotel for our last night up in Cleveland. Let's go see our digs for the night. Hello, everyone from Ohio. We are in our Airbnb right now, and it's actually our second day. Layla was up super late with Brian and her uncle and aunt watching fireworks. So Layla's actually napping right now, but I hear her getting up, and which is a good time because we are getting ready to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Layla has never been, and everyone who has been watching us knows Layla is obsessed with music. So this is a big deal for her. She is so excited. Where's Miss Angie going? Angie, do you have any idea what we're doing? So this is our Airbnb. It's kind of a mess right now. And if you notice, we have this giant thing in here. When we first got here, we noticed the air conditioner wasn't working. So they had to bring out this huge fan um, while they were waiting to get install a new air conditioner. But they just left, so thank goodness we have some AC in here, but it was kind of a rough um, night last night, especially, it got really hot. All right, girls, we gotta go! It's time, whoop, whoop! Layla is doing her Michael Jackson coloring book. You are so obsessed with Michael Jackson right now, aren't you? So we're in Ohio because this is where Brian is from. So we're home visiting family and all of his friends. But we thought since Layla's so obsessed with music right now, why not drive up? It's like 30 minutes from where we are um, up to Cleveland and go see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, her cousins to get here, so we made the mistake and we're doing the gift shop first, and we want everything. We actually just got back from hiking for a little bit and now we're just kind of regrouping because we are going to go swimming. It's a beautiful day, super hot, and we want to take the girlies to the pool at the country club at uh, Brian's dad's house. And I wanted to show you this cool thing over here. I went and got this Regalo high chair. I love these things and totally recommend them. I packed this in my suitcase, it collapses down. And then I was just able to set it up on this bar so that we have a high chair. Because anyone that has a little kid, like 12 months old, Angie's age, knows it's really hard to feed a kid without a high chair. So she's doing awesome with this. And, you know, we're trying to keep just everything consistent and trying to make this like our home. Although her sleep has still been really messed up. We're a three hour time difference. And like last night, she was up for like three hours during the night. And it's been a little rough, but you know, you just try to do the best you can, try to keep them on their schedule. She's up, you know, every up between three, up three hours, three and a half hours between naps. We're just trying to keep it on like that as best we can. Actually, her next nap is gonna be right where we're supposed to start swimming. And so the place we're going is about 25, 30 minutes away. So we're hoping, this is a big hope, she will nap on the car right there. There, it's like a 50-50 chance that's gonna happen. So wish us good luck here. Five minutes away from the house and she falls asleep, of course. So I think Brian's gonna try to take her in and hold her some and let her sleep a little bit more, get in a good nap, while I take Layla to the pool and take her on early. Oh no, oh no. What happened, baby Hi. girl? Was that a two minute power nap? Is that all she had? Uh-huh. She saw Mr. Duke and got excited because she loves dogs, doesn't she, Layla? And she usually is obsessed with Duke. Are you excited? There he goes. He's coming to you. Are you ready to swim, girl? Look at that hair. We didn't even do it. 
today. We knew we were gonna be swimming. This is gonna be a good day. Angie's got her swimsuit on. You ready, Angie? Let's see if you like it. <laughs> Go to daddy. Oh, Angie likes it. Yeah, it's a little chilly. <laughs> Layla doesn't care, she likes it cool. Ah! Oh, Angie, you're such a good swimmer now. Layla, don't you think it's cold? I haven't been able to get in yet. I got my feet in, but that's it. I, might, I have to like go in slowly. Uh-oh, Layla wants me to take Angie so daddy can play with Layla. Well, it wouldn't be a normal family vacation if somebody was not sick during it. And poor little Layla is the one that got sick this time. Fortunately though, I think it's just allergies. So yesterday we forgot to give her her allergy medicine. We were outside all day, we were swimming, and I think she's just exhausted too. We've been going and going and going since we got here. Plus, we're in Ohio right now and there's all the smoke coming down from the, fire, the wildfires up in Canada and it's just really messing up all of us. Bad air quality over yes. the day announced it on the news and it's on my watch and everything so we're yeah. gonna stay indoors but still have fun still having fun but yeah we're definitely playing it safe staying inside not doing the pool right now though we're going to Barnes and Noble that might not sound that exciting however all the Barnes and Nobles around us have completely closed and Layla's never been to an actual bookstore so we're really excited to go there and check it out and it's indoors so that makes me feel better Racers? Dollar bill fireplace. <laughs> Layla, you're most excited about the escalators. You are so funny. This is so awesome being in a bookstore again. So Layla, these used to be everywhere. Right by our house too. You go in, you just look at books, read books, you buy them. It's not like a library. You can actually buy them. This is like all new to her. <laughs> and of course, all Layla cares about is the escalator. I'm trying to have a moment with you about how amazing this is. What do you think? Oh, this is the kids section, Layla. Games. Okay, so do you remember they used to always have like a train track and fun things in the kids section? Oh, wow. They even have toys now? Oh, they have the little stage. You can do a performance for us. <laughs> do the moonwalk. Nice. Wow. So when my oldest niece, who is now 13, when she was like two or three, I can remember her taking her to Barnes and Noble in Phoenix all the time. And we would spend so much time playing with this. She'd be on the stage performing her Frozen songs. This brings back so much memories. I'm so glad I get to do this with Layla and Angie. Even though we don't get to do it at home, this is fun. This is a good experience for them. Layla, look at all these books. Oh, look at the little blue book, little blue track. I mean, this is a well-loved train track, you can tell. We found the records over here. It's yep. Layla and Mommy. I have a feeling Daddy's oh, with the records. Yes. Look at all these. The whole music section. I had a feeling you guys would be here. We'll see. Layla Jane loves Michael Jackson. And what is the one record she doesn't have that you guys are looking for? It's Invincible. Invincible. That's the one we Michael have, Jackson record she can't get. We it's have one more store like, I'm feeling pretty good about. There about. is. There's one more record store here in, in um, Ohio that we'll, Layla, we'll try it. We'll test it out. See if we can find it. But then her collection will be complete. And she really does listen to these. She knows how to work her record player and everything. Look, Big Lips. Yep, there's Rolling Stones. You call them Big Lips, though. So. That's cool. It's an amp, but it's a coffee mug. I gotta explain to y'all what's going on right now. We're leaving to go to dinner in a little bit, but we wanted to go and into the garage, which is detached, and get the ATVs out and maybe go for a quick drive. And this is actually our friend's Airbnb that we're staying at, and he has all these ATVs. They're so much fun. We've already done it once. However, all of a sudden, the code to get into the garage stopped working. So we're like, okay, well, maybe we can reset it. We just need the garage door opener. So we text our friend who owns this place. All the door openers are in his garage. So we can't get into the garage at all. So we're, Brian and his dad are sitting here trying to figure it out. And it's quite comical actually. So this side opens up manually. These two are the ones that are controlled. And look, this is so bizarre. There's a door up there. So we were like, let's climb up the ladder and see if we could open the door. But nope, that didn't open. You probably need like a pry bar, which is probably in the garage. So we can get into here, but you can't get over to the other side. We did this earlier 
and there's like a whole like track down there to ride the ATV on. It was so much fun, right? And now we can't do it. Like I said, it was so bizarre. Just all of a sudden the code stopped working. We changed the batteries. It wasn't the batteries. We have no idea what happened. Um, our friend Chris has no idea what's going on. He's at work right now, so he can't come over and help. So we're just trying to figure it out, but we're not having too much luck. And pretty soon it's gonna be time to go to dinner. Grandpa has a tool he's gonna try. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh! Hello. And we're in! Woo! Ah, yay! Yay! There they all are! Oh, wow! Okay, I'm taking this. Do they need a There. You wanna go hop in? You love that, don't you? So he's not even taking her back on the trail right now. They're just going around the little cul-de-sac. Woo! And you didn't get stuck this time. First time they took this out a couple days ago before we had the whole garage door debacle. They were down on the track and it actually got stuck in mud. And they had to walk up the hill and come back. So I think she was a little nervous to go back on the track. That's why they just stayed up here. She was afraid they'd get stuck again. Since it's all gravel around here, I have to keep Angie at least in the tailgate while we watch. And Layla, you're getting ready to go with Daddy, right? On the little yellow one. He's gonna add. He has to add more gas, and then we're good. Oh my goodness! And they're off. Oh, she's having a blast. I just know she's having so much fun. Look at that smile. So we're finishing up the night. At least tonight. Oh. That was a loud one. <laughs> and we're trying to get Angie down to sleep. Anyways, we're finishing tonight with a few fireworks. It's past 4th of July, but we have a few left over. And you can do some pretty cool fireworks here in Ohio that you could not do in California, including sparklers. That scared me too. But sparklers were always my favorite growing up, so I'm so glad Layla gets a chance to do them too. We're, oh no, he just yelled it's gonna be a big one. Angie's never gonna go to sleep. Oh, maybe it didn't work. Look, everyone's waiting for it. Oh darn, it burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> sparkler! Leo, those are my favorite as a kid. I love Thank sparklers. You, Brian always gets his hair done by this one guy. He's been going to him since he was in college. And he went there this morning to get his hair trimmed and he took Layla and the guy decided to give her a good hair wash and detangle and everything her hair. And it looks so pretty. I think she probably enjoyed it a little bit too. But it was interesting is he recommended instead of using a conditioner, you use a moisturizer, which I've never heard of that. I've only heard of a conditioner, so I'm gonna do some research. Yeah. Angie's asleep right now, so we're waiting for her to wake up, and then we're gonna go do a few things, um, maybe get some lunch, but it is supposed to rain this afternoon, so we're gonna try to get out and do everything before the rain comes. And then tonight is like our last night in this area, so we're gonna go have like a big dinner tonight with all of his family. And then tomorrow morning, we're headed up and we're staying in a hotel for our last night up in Cleveland. Um, and we're just gonna spend the day up there as a family and then go to bed. And then in the morning, we have an early flight out of the Cleveland airport. So that's why we thought it'd be fun just to get a hotel and have the night in Cleveland, <laughs> just of our family. On our way to a quick dinner at the Winking Lizard, one of Brian's favorite restaurants. There is a actual lizard there and tons of games. And Brian used to work there when he was in college. Yes, hi Reggie. What do you think of Reggie? And this is what Layla was most excited for. Okay. Basically, I just spent $10 on a little bit of kinetic sand and some sweethearts and Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> It up and we are on our way to spend our last night here in a hotel up near downtown Cleveland. Layla's super excited because she gets so excited for hotels and we're just excited to get up there and just relax and make sure we're all ready for our plane ride tomorrow. We have so much stuff. I think we're gonna have to carry those and wheel that up. Let's go see our digs for the night. 
Oh, let's see. You got our little kitchen area. You guys. The bedroom. How high are we? Look. Are we super high? We're on the top floor. This is our home for the night. Oh, let's check out the bathroom. Oh. Good, there's a bathtub, so you can take a bath, Missy. Look, look, this is your room. Oh, look at your TV you got. That's gonna be a bed. Your TV, your table, your couch, and that's a bed right here. Oh. It holds out like a Chris's house. Layla, look! You can spy on people getting on and off the elevator. Let's get unpacked now. We just brought up our pack and play, and I was thrilled. You can tell Brian is thrilled too, but I was thrilled because <laughs> they, it, they brought it up already put together, which is so nice, so I don't have to do that. And the other place, the other hotel we stayed at didn't bring any um, like linens or anything for it. And they have that all set up, so that's great. Make sure you know, anytime you travel, almost every hotel will always offer like a crib or a pack and play or something like that. Just make sure you request it when you're checking in because sometimes they run out because they don't have enough for every single room. Should we go explore, girlies, and go find the laundry and wash this nasty, dirty bunny? So we're down in the restaurant, uh, or the hotel restaurant, and it's kind of empty right now, which is great because we can just eat and kind of let Angie wander around and wear herself out. Do your bear crawl over here. <sighs> I don't know if I'm ready for the flight again tomorrow. Are you ready for the flight? Uh, actually, yes, because I feel like the more early morning's gonna be good because my goal is for Layla to watch TV while she falls asleep in the hotel room. <gasps> yes. And let her stay up as late as she wants, and then that way Angie will be tired, and then hopefully they sleep most of it. Layla didn't sleep the whole way out here on either flight. Angie only slept on one, so we'll see. But I guess here we go. We're gonna be flying home tomorrow, and if you missed our flight out here and all my tips on flying with a baby, make sure to go watch that video. It just came out right before this one, and you can find um, a link in the description below. All right, bye everyone. We'll see you next time from California.